All right, Happy New Year. God, this time of the year really sucks for me. I, I don't like this time of the year. The whole holiday season's not being a grouch, but just because it's a pain on the neck to spend a ton of money ever since, what was it? Halloween, going to all the Halloween parties, Thanksgiving, getting full at everyone's uh, meeting, dinners, whatever. Dirty lens again. And then Christmas, all the Christmas parties, all the money you gotta spend. And then now New Year's, oh my God, it's it sucks. Anyway, today's project, I have a lot of stuff to do. I wanna start finishing out, finishing out some things on the Forerunner. So I've been, for the longest time, I've been hearing some weird kind of vibrations. <clears throat> I've kind of attributed it to the u-joints and it's a real easy fix just pull out the two u-joints pop in on new ones that should be it it has never been done to the truck the truck is a 97 i think it was so at least 25 years it's never been changed might as well change it now i ordered non-greasable units from o'reilly's i chose to go that way just because the factory ones are non-greasable and it's not like I'm ever going to remember to grease the darn things anyway. I mean, how many of you have remembered to grease your uh, grease fittings? So that's why I chose the non-greasable. Next time I'm going to check this, probably another 20 years. Who knows? I might be dead by then. Anyway, I'll start by pulling out the four bolts in the rear. I have the truck at an angle on the driveway. That'll minimize the oil that leaks out from the transmission when I pull the drive shaft. So let me unscrew the back four bolts and pull the dry shaft out and then check it out from there. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, first thing is to take off the four 14 millimeter bolts. So that's what I'll do. I need the bigger gun. Crap, I need a bigger hammer. Okay, when in doubt, get a bigger hammer. It's out.
okay it's out time for more fun and uh get to beat this thing even more with a hammer first thing i need to do is knock off the four um c clips that are on here and that's really easy just knock it off with a hammer so let me do that and i'll be right back Well, now that they're all off, let me see if I can find my ball joint um, C-clamp tool. I saw a lot of guys use that and just smacking it to death with a hammer. So I'll try both, see what happens. And before I forget, I did mark it. Um, I don't have a white pen like everyone else. So I just used a black marsh pen and made two little marks. One there, one there and on the other end too okay there's so many different ways to do this some guys whack the crap out of it with a hammer some guys use something like this there's so many different ways i have no idea i'm gonna try the c-clamp way and see how that works first Well, that seemed to work. I know, I know you're not supposed to drive it out all the way through. Damn, look at all that rust. All right, let me figure out what to do next. But it looks like it's working, I guess. I think I can grab this part with a hammer, I mean with a vice grip or something and twist it off, I don't know. I'll try each way, I'll see what happens. Oh, that's not gonna work. I know you don't want to push it all the way through though. Oops. That almost went all the way through. Okay, that's not gonna work okay everyone else made it seem so easy on YouTube 
when I do it, oh my god. Okay, well, I was pounding the hell out of it, grabbed my vice grip, and just trying to crack this sucker off, and... Oh, ha! There's the needle bearings, and... Okay. So, that's one. And I guess I just force it back the other way, and then use my vice grip and grip the thing all over again. Ah, holy crap, it just popped right off. <laughs> I guess I can just smack the hell out of that thing since I don't need it now. Okay, so that goes to show you, you don't need a fancy vise, you just need a garbage can. Alright, so um, I do have a vise in my little garage. I'll just put this in the vise just so it's easier to hold. Once I put it in the vise, then I can just reverse the process, smack the hell out of this. Um, let me take all this apart, and then I'll, I guess I'll just show you guys what it looks like when I reassemble everything. This is my first time, so, so far so good. All right, let me take care of this. I'll be right back. All right, so here's a big, big helpful hint in life. Never let your anger get the best of you because it will. Never let your frustrations get the best of you and it will. And most times out of not, it will bite you in the ass. <laughs> But my anger and frustration got the best of me. Took my four and a half inch cutoff angle grinder wheel thing. I cut that sucker right in half. So I guess it worked, sort of. Um, everything is marked, so I know exactly where to put it back. I'm gonna take some steel wool, just clean up the insides then I'll assemble everything again. <clears throat> so let me get all, get this all cleaned up and I'll be right back again. So now just reverse the whole process in theory, I guess. I don't know, but I guess we'll find out. So let me try to <laughs> try to reverse this whole thing and see what happens. All right. So I got the greaseless ones. The factory was um, greaseless also. I mean, there is grease, but it just doesn't have the grease fitting that mark goes at that mark so it's supposed to go like that all right i get the sides in first so carefully take this off everything looks good take off this side needle bearings look good okay slide it in carefully all right Okay, I guess you can tap it. I don't know. I'm going to use a brass hammer and see how much I can tap it in. <laughs> Not bad. You know what? I do have a... I have a brass punch. Let me grab my brass punch. That would be great. All right, let's see what this brass punch can do. I use this for my axles. A little more. 
little more a little more okay get the new C clips push these guys on all right I'm gonna try to put this at an angle where I think I can get to it again later so I think that should be pretty good Okay, that's locked in. Now for the other side. A little more. A little more. Just a little more. Uh, a little more. Mm, I don't know. Oh yeah. All right. <clears throat> Perfect fit. Now, okay, now to put the other side on, it goes like that, right? Yes, just like that. There's my mark. Carefully take off this, take off the bottom. Insert the bottom. Give it a little tap. The other side, give that a little tap. So far, so good. Let me tap all this in. I'll be right back. <laughs> well, that one side was so darn easy. Um, I'm going to blast out this other side. Let me blast this side out. Get it all changed out. And that way I'll have a whole brand new U-joint front and back. And I don't ever have to worry about this stupid thing for another 25 years. <sighs> Cheap, easy, preventive maintenance just always overlooked so let me change out the front part and I'll be right back again well not too bad the front is done and the rear is done looks like I'm gonna beat the Sun so let me go ahead get this thing in really quick before the Sun goes down already
Well, <clears throat> that was a pretty big success. Everything turned out well. It went a little smoother than I expected. I thought it would be crazy hard. I thought I would be here all night. But it only took me about, I'd say about two hours to do um, the drive shaft. That includes the removal and everything. So it turned out pretty good. It's been a hell of a year. It's been crazy. Um, as humans, I think we are not supposed to question or understand why things happen. And we'll never understand, and that's the whole point. Anyway, that's life, right? It sucks. But next year, I am hoping to get a lot more projects done. I can finally get started on the body lift for the Tacoma. I know a bunch of guys are waiting for that. Um, hopefully, if things go well, I'll sell the blue Skyline. Hopefully, the red one will go directly to a buyer on the mainland. The yellow one I'm planning to keep for myself. I'm gonna do a whole, I'm gonna pull the motor out, do a whole build on that. I would like to do a six inch lift on this thing. So I got a lot of crazy bright ideas planned for the year. Maybe in, in the beginning of the year, I'll show you guys. I was thinking of showing someone how to lift one of these uh, third gen forerunners for free or near free and I'll, I'll go through all that and explain that later but anyway thanks a lot everybody for sticking around with all my crazy projects it's been crazy take care be safe everyone and i'll see you guys next year on my next project